Uh, we're, we're very excited, very pleased to have uh, both the parents and uh, friends and family of some remarkable young men and women here today. Uh, this is um, very exciting for me as I typically never got to speak about or interact with uh, so many fine young men and women and today is just another opportunity for me to do so. We have some guests here today as well who are um, kind of special in that they have a lot to do with what goes on here at Brockton High. We have uh, Tim Sullivan, a school committee member down in the back, uh, Mr. Thomas, the deputy superintendent, and we have our superintendent, uh, Kathy Smith, with us here as well today, along with your deans, uh, assistant deans, and a number of teachers. So before I get started, uh, I was going to introduce uh, Superintendent Smith. She's going to just say a couple of words. I surprised her, and then we'll, we'll get started with our ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Murray. It is such a privilege to be here with all of you today and to know you have such wonderful things happening as you finish your career here at Brockton High School. You had your last day last week. You had a wonderful day for your senior prom, your senior awards, and very soon we'll be on the field with your graduation. But as superintendent, looking at the group assembled here, this is because you are the best of the best at Brockton High School in your particular field or a particular area. And when I look out at you and had an opportunity to talk to a few parents and grandparents coming in, I could see how proud every one of you are of these students in front of you. To the department heads and teachers uh, and your deans and your assistant deans that have supported you on the way, this is a proud moment for all of us. This is a culmination of many, many years, probably over 13 years, that you have been, some of you, in the Brockton Public Schools, others joined us along the way. But what this tells us right now is truly this is your time. And when we think about what is happening for you and what's going to come, we are very, very proud. And one thing that I've been doing as, as I finish my uh, comments, and I truly mean this having been superintendent here finishing my fifth year, your whole time here at Brockton High, looking at whether it's in the classroom, on the fields, uh, the drama, the music, the arts, all of the JROTC, I could go on and on with all of the programs that we have at Brockton High. And you always put us on the map. You always are the leaders of our school and make us all so very proud, your parents, grandparents, teachers, everybody that I just mentioned. So I'll finish by saying today that you make me the proudest superintendent around. Thank you, congratulations. <laughs> I think it's pretty interesting. It's actually very exciting, kind of neat that you are the best of the best, yet it is very difficult uh, to go forward without recognizing uh, all the help that you've had along the way. Uh, those are teachers that you had in elementary and middle school as well as the fantastic faculty we have here. And then, of course, your parents and family friends who stood by you all that time. So let's give those folks a big round of applause. So as those of you that know me, brevity is one of my strengths. So I will uh, get right to the awards, a part of the ceremony, and I'm going to present Sally Chu with the Educator Award. Sally. Um, the hardest part about leaving Brockton High School will be leaving behind my amazing biology teacher, Mrs. Voorhees. Mrs. Voorhees is the higher level IB biology teacher and the dedicated advisor of Envirothon. This extraordinary woman has helped my parents and I grow so much academically, mentally, and emotionally, and there is no way that we can ever repay her. One of the many reasons why I love Mrs. Voorhees is her ceaseless effort to help her students. In the two years that I have learned from her, there has never been a moment where she denied helping her students. If, she, if her students didn't understand something, she would repeat it a thousand times until it is embedded into our heads. She's phenomenal because she will truly go out of her way to help her students, and this includes staying hours after school, even late into the evening, and spending Saturday mornings and afternoons helping us study. She stops at nothing to help her students advance her, their comprehension and advanced level biology. 
At these study sessions, she also brings us comforting and fulfilling food because she understands that students function best when they're not hungry. In addition, Mrs. Voorhees' teaching style is very detail-oriented and provides the feedback and critique that we need. And in my experience, it's very rare for a teacher to read every single thing that you write. Mrs. Voorhees has brought out the better, brighter, and positive person in all of us by constantly upholding a gleaming positive demeanor and I cannot stress enough the admiration and respect I have and love that I have for this woman. And she is the teacher that holds the utmost character, ability, and skill. Uh, Mrs. Voorhees, unfortunately, is not able to make it today, but she 100% deserves the Teacher of the Year Award. Thank you. Um, I think it's very important that uh, when we're talking about these students going forward, they are the best of the best, but a very small representative portion of an incredible student body. Uh, on display, full display, I should say, last Thursday at Gillette Stadium, where we had almost 800 students who were as well behaved as any group of 800 individuals I've ever seen. They had a great time, polite, respectful, and uh, just uh, it's been really a joy. I'm an interloper here my first year to meet these, these kids and see who they are. Uh, not only are they academics, but they're also fantastic members of our school family and the school community. So once again, congratulations. Um, I get to go first, and I was faced with a conundrum when I was asked about this award. It's the Principal's Leadership Award. It was really a wonderful predicament. Traditionally, it's for one student. And in all candor, I've been so impressed, really amazed with the entire class. Uh, their compassion, their involvement in all in aspects of our school, family, academic achievement, and community service. How do I select one person? I, it was really uh, not something that I was uh, too keen on and found uh, very, very difficult. And I kept coming back to two students who in very different ways greatly impacted me personally, professionally, and I believe our school and community in the most upbeat and positive ways. Now, these were two students who got involved and demonstrated uh, steady leadership and at the same time outstanding academic achievement. So given the fact that I don't have an assistant principal, I decided I was allowed to give out two principal's awards. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, through her hard work with peer mediators, freshman mentors, and the Key Club, the first student was clearly involved in all aspects of student life at Brockton High. When asked to represent our entire, entire student body at school committee, she accepted without reservation and did so in exemplary fashion. Once again, while she was involved in all these activities, helping students, both freshmen throughout the entire class, uh, she maintained a high level of academic achievement as well. Uh, one of the first students to come up and speak to me in such a positive fashion uh, so excited about her senior year and about being with all of you. Uh, Brockton High meant a lot to her, as did the city of Brockton. And uh, the first award winner, who is uh, not here, is Sharma Arace. <laughs> the other student, in um, a completely different fashion, but kind of achieving the same thing, is clearly a leader in every sense of the word. Not only did he lead our JROTC program this year, but was an outstanding student, setting an example for all to see, both in the classroom and in the gym. Coupled this with his tire work, tireless work ethic and the wrestling team, he repeatedly showed to the school, the city, and the state what the city of champions is all about, winning three state titles. Our second award winner is Cole Wyman. It's been an honor and a privilege to meet and introduce these two students, um, and it's actually an honor and a privilege to be here with all of you. Uh, I can't uh, say enough what an exciting year I've had, how enjoyable it's been, and really, for people who are concerned about the fate of our nation or our city or the Commonwealth, they look, need to look no further than right here. You guys are clearly a bright future for all of us, and I want to thank you personally for everything that you've done for me this year. So without uh, further ado, we're gonna have Mr. Donovan come in and do the Greenhouse Awards. Thank you.
Welcome parents, friends, and families. It's great to have you here. Today is a uh, celebration that is truly one of our favorite events of the year, where we get to celebrate uh, the accomplishments of, as you just heard, some of our best and brightest. Uh, today it's my pleasure to honor two of the finest students and people you'll meet in the whole entire school, let alone the Green Building. So to start out, could I have Daniela Gomes Fernandez join me, please? We'll embarrass her. Come on over here. Every year, uh, each of the four houses gives the Dean's Award to one student who demonstrates excellent behavior, character, and academics, as well as someone who has been at Brockton High School for all four years. Uh, this year's green recipient is Daniela. She's lived in, the Bro in Brockton since moving here from Portugal 10 years ago. She moved here with her mother, her brothers, and her grandmother. Are, are they here? My mom's here. Mom, where are you? Hi, Mom. Uh, during her four years here at Brockton High School, Daniela has exemplified boxer pride while also challenging herself with both IB and AP level classes. Outside of the classroom, Daniela has volunteered in the community, including working as a mentor with a nonprofit organization, as well as serving as the head of a charitable committee with the Empower Yourself program. She has been a member of the Bro uh, Boxer Key Club and a writer for the Boxer Roundup, which appears in the Enterprise newspaper. When not participating in these activities, you'll likely find her working the fryer later, cooking up fries at Burger King. <laughs> Next year, Daniela plans on attending Emmanuel College, where she plans on studying ESL in Spanish, with the long-term hopes of returning to Brockton High School as a teacher. So please join me in congratulating Daniela as this year's Green Dean's Award winner. And would Cole Wyman please join me. Yes, sir. You may be hearing a few different people this morning speak about Cole Wyman, uh, Green Building's Academic Award winner. Um, personally, I've been bragging about Cole over the past several years whenever possible, acting like he's my own son and taking credit for anything he's accomplished even though I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> In all seriousness, Cole is one of the hardest working yet humble and polite young adults you'll ever meet. His 4.8 GPA and memberships in the National Honor Society and National Foreign Language Society exemplify his stellar ethic, work ethic and academic success. In addition to his academic achievements, Cole has excelled in many other endeavors he's tackled here at Brockton High School. This year, Cole became the first Brockton High School student to ever win not two, but three straight all-state wrestling championships, amassing an absurd record of 202 and 25 losses over his four-year career. Uh, and Cole tells me most of those losses were his freshman year. <laughs> Whatever. Just as impressive uh, as that is, uh, Cole's leadership that he has demonstrated uh, over his career at the high school is just as impressive. Along with being the captain of the wrestling team, Cole was this year's highest ranking JROTC cadet acting as battalion commander. A resume like Cole's is truly remarkable and one that his parents should be very proud of. Cole plans on studying mechanical engineering next year when he attends the United States Military Academy at West Point. Please join me in congratulating Green's number one ranked student, Cole Wyman. Next up will be uh, Miss Carolyn Kopp to present the Red House Awards.
Good morning, thank you, Mr. Donovan. Uh, my name is Carolyn Kopp and I am the Dean of the Red House and I, along with my Assistant Dean, Mr. John Garsha, who is also here today, uh, would like to congratulate this year's recipient of the Red House Dean's Award. Um, Cole Analoro, could you please join me on stage or in the lobby, as the case may be? <laughs> So Cole, and actually, and what are the odds we'd have two Coles all, both in a row as far as from the greenhouse and the red house? Um, Cole is currently ranked um, number 11 out of 935 students um, who will be graduating from Brockton High School uh, this Saturday. He is hardworking, he is responsible, an intelligent student who approaches academics with a level of seriousness that is to be admired. Um, he is also friends with many of the students here who are here today because they tend to travel all together. Um, if you were to look at his transcript and report card, you would see that he has always challenged himself academically, taking IB and AP level courses and receiving almost all A's during his high school career. Teachers have com commented on Cole's growth and commitment of high quality work even for the smallest assignments. Mrs. O'Connell, Cole's math teacher, told me, one thing I love about Cole is that whenever I teach something, he always wants to know more, always wants to know the why. He's motivated to dig deeper into whatever it is we are always learning. With an upbeat attitude and a kind heart, Cole is a leader both in and out of the classroom. His teachers unanimously told me that Cole is a standout amongst his peers, always willing to stop and help a student who may need it. This willingness to help goes well beyond the classroom. Cole's connection to our school community, including being a versatile go-to member of the drama club, both on stage and behind the scenes. His talents don't just end there. He is an accomplished musician. He is a member of the advanced concert band, Wind on Stubble, and marching band, even serving as an assistant line leader. It's sad for me to say goodbye to Cole as a member of the Red House, because it is uh, the, a dean's dream to have someone uh, like Cole in the Red House. Cole will take his many talents uh, to Boston College in the fall, and I'm sure he will continue to make us all very proud. We look forward to hearing all about what he is doing in the future. Please joining me in, join me in congratulating our Red House Dean Award, Award winner, Cole Analoro. For the Red House um, Academic Award, could I please ask Ashley Fan to join me on stage? Hi, Ashley. It is my pleasure to award the Red House Academic Excellence Award to Ashley Fan. As of third term grades, right, Ashley was ranked as the number one student in the Red House. During her high school career, Ashley has excelled both in the classroom and out. She challenges herself academically by first taking AB cl AP classes, but then by enrolling and excelling in the full IB program. Her IB history teacher, Ms. Arsenault, says, Ashley strives for perfection. She is the type of student where every assignment she produces exceeds expectations and can often be used as a model for others to help them do better on the next, the next time. Despite her academic achievements, she remains modest, humble, and always willing to help others. In addition to the classroom, Ashley is a valued member of the school community. She is a member of the National and Foreign Language Honor Societies, and she has served as class treasurer for her sophomore, junior, and senior years. In addition, Ashley is a member of the Drama Club wardrobe crew and serves as a Chinese language peer tutor. Ashley will be taking her many talents to Northeastern University in the fall. Please join me in congratulating the Red House Academic Excellence Award recipient, Ashley Fan. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Sean Desmond, who is the Assistant Dean of the Azure House. to raise it a little higher. Thanks, Mrs. Cobb. 
Uh, so good morning, I'm Sean Desmond, I'm the Assistant Dean in the Azure, so I'll be speaking about the two Azure students today. Uh, first up, I have the, this year's Dean's Award winner um, from the Azure House, Mr. Jared Fisher. So I'd like to invite Jared to come up here. <clears throat> so Jared can be characterized as a studious individual. Throughout his Brockton High School career, he has been enrolled in honors and advanced placement classes. He recently completed his second year in the International Baccalaureate program in both math and history. Jared has also completed a series of biotechnology coursework. This year, Jared has been a member of the Bank Training Finance Program, where students are trained and certified as bank tellers. And while in this program, Jared had the opportunity to represent the school at a banking competition at the Federal Reserve Bank in Boston, where he placed second for marketing and development. And regarding Jared's extracurricular, extracurricular activities, he has shown great leadership qualities while at BHS. He has been a member of the Ski Club, Math Club, Science Club, and the Key Club, just to name a few. Jared has also volunteered during his directed academics period in order to tutor students who are struggling academically. Additionally, he has assisted in the school supply room providing resources to building suites and house offices. Uh, he's also been a teacher's assistant in both English and physical education classes as a boxer fit peer leader. And Jared's transferable skills uh, in leadership have garnered him promotions at Stop and Shop from a cashier to a front end manager. Very exciting. <laughs> In addition to academic and community achievements, Jared is a very well liked and respected by his classmates, staff, and co-workers. He's a genuine young man that is mature well beyond his years. Next year, Jared will be attending the University of New Hampshire and will major in chemical engineering. So I want to say congratulations to Jared. This year's Academic Award recipient for the Azure House is Ms. Kelly Tuyet Duong. Uh, Kelly's not here today, but I'm gonna speak about her. Uh, as a studious and dedicated young lady, Kelly is actively engaged in her education. While at Brockton High, she has carefully selected her academic programming while maintaining her goal of attending a competitive four-year university. When choosing her academic courses each year, she has welcomed academic challenges as measured by her schedule consisting of all honors courses since grade nine, followed by honors courses in AP in grade 10, and she just completed her second year of the full international baccalaureate program. Kelly's exceptional grades in all her courses have consistently earned her highest honor roll status. Kelly's excellent academic performances have secured her membership in both the Foreign Language Honor Society as well as the National Honor Society. In addition to the commitment to her studies, Kelly's admirable time management skills allow her to balance her demanding academic load while still being a peer tutor, a volunteer at Bode Temple, where she teaches students the Vietnamese language, as well as a Vietnamese culture through song and dance. Kelly is an intern at Signature Hospital and a member of the BHS Environthon Group, where she was awarded the Community Action and Community Research Award. Moreover, this extraordinary young lady still finds time to be employed at her father's business, wherein she enjoys interacting with her customers and managing the website. Next year, Kelly will be attending Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. So I want to congratulate Kelly. And if I could have her brother, Matt, come up to uh, accept her award. And next, I would like to introduce the Yellow House from the, uh, the Dean from the Yellow House, Mr. Sean Ahern. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. I see so many of my former students from the middle school here. It takes, I have great pride in that. I'll begin with the Yellow House Dean Award. Uh, Jose is not here this morning, but I'll speak in his absence. To his friends, he is simply known as Junior. Junior stands out for his humble nature, great smile, and natural leadership ability. Junior has combined outstanding academics with athleticism to represent a true student athlete. Junior has persevered through injuries and setbacks, 
and this year was selected as the captain of the football team as well as the basketball team and was named to the Brockton Enterprise All-Scholastic First Football Team. Junior has served Brockton High School as a peer mediator and has taught young students to read in our Read Across America program. He will be attending Framingham State University in the fall, majoring in business management, and his future goal is to start his own real estate company. Junior says he will miss not only the sports here at BHS, but also the relationships he has made with his teammates, fellow students, teachers, and administrators. Junior is the epitome of a Brockton boxer. This year's recipient of the Dean's Award for Yellow House is Jose Montero, Jr. <laughs> Sally, would you mind coming up? Sally Chu is a positive, determined, and open-minded young woman who is focused on doing her best. She is an extremely hard-working student who has taken on our most challenging full IB program here at the high school. Despite the long hours of study required to, for full IB, Sally made time to take on volunteer work as a tutor in the Access Center, as a guidance assistant, and this year as a student assistant in the ceramics classroom. Sally is dedicated to all she undertakes outside of the class as well. The activities most important to Sally are the Asian Club, Knitting Club, Science Club, and the Boxer Mentor Program. As a mentor, Sally has demonstrated leadership and a commitment to service. Sally's focus on academics and community have paid off with memberships to both the National Honor Society, where she served as secretary, and the National Foreign Language Honor Society. She has also been honored with the Presidential Fitness Award, an honorable mention at the art show, and has an IB Biotech winner for the second place in the science fair. Last year, Sally was the recipient of the Harvard University Book Award. Not only is Sally an academic superstar and scholar, but she is well-rounded with a diverse set of interests beyond academics. In the fall, Sally will be studying biochem pre-med track at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Congratulations to this year's Yellow Building Academic Award, Sally Chu. Mr. Corbett. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the 2017-18 Mathematics Achievement Award goes to Ben Vindo Shisha, who is not present today. Um, I'll talk briefly about him. Um, ben has been a great member of the mathematics community in his time at Brockton High. He has pushed himself to take three AP courses over the past two years, um, including being a pioneer in our AP Calculus BC course exam uh, this year. He, his work in the classrooms goes beyond his performance on his assessments, though. He's nominating teacher. The reason she nominated him was because the work he puts in helping other students understand material and actually working with them just to get his classmates on the same page as he is. Now, on a personal note, I worked with Ben for the last three months um, as his teacher was out, and I just helped out their class getting ready for that pioneering AP examination. And I've witnessed the same exact things. Ben loved working with other students. He had one student who was struggling. He had him over his house for a weekend, for an entire weekend. That student's grade went up based on that work, immediately turned around. He joked with me a lot about having teaching as his fallback career. <laughs> I'd hire him. I know I'd hire him four years from now if he wanted to do this. Um, and that's the best praise I can give anybody because I'm not that easy to get past in that interview. So Ben, I wish I was here, you were here for me to give this to you, but Ben Cheetah is our award winner for mathematics. And I'd like to introduce Jonathan Shapiro as the science department chair. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure and honor to present this award for scientific excellence to an amazing young scientist 
Angela Girodier. Angela? Angela has impressed teachers, students, MIT professors, industry professionals throughout her four years in the biotechnology program. She participated in the MLSC apprenticeship program at MIT and an internship at Mass Biologics. Her work there was so great that they opened up more opportunities for BHS students to serve as interns this summer. Angela has bridged the divide between teacher and student. She served as a mentor in Biotech II classes, but she's gone further than that. She served as a teaching assistant in a course offered for teachers and as part of the M BHS MLSC Apprenticeship Challenge. It's hard to imagine BHS without Angela's smiling face and intelligent and thoughtful questions, but she will be pursuing a career as a research biochemist. Angela, please accept this award as a celebration of the student you've been here and the contributions to the field that you will undoubtedly have. But please also accept this as a formal invitation to return to BHS with your ever-growing expertise to teach our students and our teachers. I'd like to welcome uh, Nicole McLaren, English department head. Good morning. This year, the English department would like to recognize Erica Montero. When I ask teachers to nominate a student, of course I'm asking for a student who excels at the regular English stuff, the reading and the writing. But there is always a student who stands out among our top performers as someone who is a leader and a role model. This year, Mr. Tim Kaprinsky nominated Erica, and I would like to share some words from his nomination. Erica has produced consistently brilliant and analytical work and is the hardest worker I've had as a teacher. In terms of work ethic and personality, Erica is tenacious. She always expects the absolute best of herself. I was always impressed how she immersed herself into the work in a way that transcended the assignment and, became, and become relevant to her perspective of herself and the world. She always spoke what she believed and then encouraged other perspectives and ideas. Erica is the epitome of everything we could want in a student and young woman, and I'm so proud of the opportunity to witness her growth. On behalf of the English department, I'm honored to award the Rosemary Corey Academic Excellence in English Award to the brilliant and tenacious Erica Montero. And now I'll call to the stage Dr. Emily Flores. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Flores. I am the social science department head. And this brilliant young lady that I have standing next to me is Ms. Chrisanne Clayton. And before I tell you about all of her wonderful academic accolades, I need to tell you that she was a student last year in my AP Euro class. Day one, my girl walked into class and announced that she was a fan of King Henry VIII. She, I was... Yeah. I was equal parts impressed and terrified because upon closer inspection, I noticed that she was wearing a charm necklace with Henry VIII's image on the charm. And so I started to question how she, how she sees the world and her place in it. <laughs> she very quickly, though, assuaged all of my fears as far as her judgment and her ability because she slayed the course every single term. She's sort of this quiet storm. Comes, other than that questionable announcement, she came in every day um, unassuming and you know, her, her kind and mild demeanor, but asking really pressing questions and not um, just accepting things at face value. She would go home, she would read, she would send me email, um, in email more questions about what we had discussed that day. She was just a force to be reckoned with and earned the highest average every term because, you know, if you've ever had AP students, you know that this is what they want. They want to know who has the highest average every term. Chris Ann had it all except for one, I think, and I was terrified to go into work that day and announce that she had not been the one to earn the highest grade, but then she bounced back the following term. It has been my great privilege to get to know her, to know about her, and to know um, 
to know uh, the things that she dreams for herself, the life that she dreams for herself. And I'm not even the person who nominated her. I was uh, received the nomination from her current AP teacher, Mr. Connolly. She said that, he said that Chris Ann passed both the AP US and AP Euro exams. She just took the AP World exams, winning on those results. She was in the National Honor Society. She interned at a law firm, president of the Law and Debate Club. See what I mean? Uh, administrative assistant in the IRC. She is a tutor at uh, the church, and she has earned a 4.3 GPA. He says she is an absolutely wonderful student and person. It is my great privilege to present her with the Social Science Academic Excellence and Leadership in Social Science Award to Ms. Chris Ann Clayton. Oh, she's going to Easter Nazarene. <laughs> I'm basically on a full ride, which she totally earned. All right. I now present Ms. Rachel Umbriana, Foreign Language Award Department. Good morning. I'd like to please call Ryan Shaw, Kathleen Lee, and Deborah Caban up to the podium. Each year, the Foreign Language Department recognizes only two students, one for academics and one for leadership. This year, we had such a strong group of students that we're giving out three awards. Ryan Shaw is being recognized for excellence in academics for Chinese. Since entering Brockton High School, Ryan has received all A's in his honors Chinese classes, including IB Chinese. Ryan's teachers describe him as mature, academically driven, and saying that he works well with other students. He studied abroad in China last year and intends to major in Chinese at Boston University. Ryan is also one of only four recipients of the Seal of Biliteracy this year. Kathleen Lee is also being recognized for academic excellence, but in Latin. Since entering Brockton High School, Kathleen has received nothing lower than an A-plus in all of her honors Latin courses, including IB Latin. Kathleen's teachers describe her as determined, even in difficult situations, always responsible, and someone who always pushes herself. Deborah Caban is being recognized in the Department for Leadership. Even though Deborah's academics in Latin are also exemplary, our teachers have described Deborah as the strongest leader we've ever had in the department and decided this honor should go to her. Deborah is on the executive board for the Foreign Language Honor Society, regularly attends the Latin Club, and always volunteers for our departmental activities, such as Foreign Language Week and tutoring. We're so proud of our three award recipients. On behalf of the Foreign Language Department, I'm honored to present the awards for academic excellence to Ryan Shaw and Kathleen Lee and the award for excellence and leadership to Deborah Caban. Congratulations. And next up to present the Bilingual Award is Ms. Christina Denevice. Good morning. Um, Cloud. I am here to present the Josette Dubois Award for Academic Excellence, and this year it goes to Claudio Gomes. He's an English learner who came to us in January of 2016 as a sophomore and took only honors and AP classes in his sophomore, junior and senior years, having finished 31st of his graduating class. I'm very proud of him. His teachers describe him as a young man who has the highest expectations for himself. He's always in my office asking me for opportunities to learn things to do in the summer. Um, he's going to BC on a full scholarship to study biochemistry and plans to go to med school later. On behalf of the bilingual department, I am honored to present you with the Josette Dubois Award for Academic Excellence. And, and I am now calling on Ms. Ledger to present the award for the guidance department. <coughs> Thank you. 
Good morning. Where's Yuri? Yuri, can you come up? In honor of a retired guidance counselor who had a special way with students, the Richard Pyrus Guidance Award was created in his name to recognize one special senior each year who has succeeded in high school despite adversity. This senior has worked hard throughout his four years at Brockton High School. He has always taken on challenges with courage and determination, and he has succeeded academically. His favorite classes have been science and computer courses. A little something about Yuri. He's a huge Boston Celtics fan. Sorry about Saturday. <laughs> and enjoys watching every game. He's very knowledgeable about basketball, and he's been a coach for the Raise Up Basketball Camp during summers, where he coaches young players. His guidance counselor and Raise Up Camp director, Mr. Lewis, had this to say about Yuri. Yuri has a positive attitude and great worth ethic. He is one of the most inspiring students he has come across in his many years in education. Yuri will be attending Massasoit Community College next fall and is eager to take on the challenges of college. At this time, it is with great pleasure to present this year's recipient of the Richard Pyrus Guides Award to Yuri Barrows. I get a little emotional. I'd like to introduce um, Lieutenant Colonel Richard Clark from the JROTC program. Good morning. On behalf of the Junior ROTC program, I'm pleased to present the Cap Captain Anthony Palermo JROTC Leadership and the Corporal Donald Fisher JROTC Service Awards to two well-deserving seniors. First, I'll begin with the Captain Palermo Leadership Award. The Captain Anthony Palermo Junior ROTC Leadership Award is presented to the cadet senior who best demonstrates leadership in the cadet battalion. It is named for Captain Anthony Palermo Jr., a 1998 graduate of Brockton High School. JROTC was a major part of his time here at BHS such so that he decided to pursue the senior ROTC program at Norwich University, where he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army in 2003. According to accounts from officers who served with him, Tony led by example and never asked anything from his soldiers that he was not willing to do himself. He was killed in action during his second combat tour by an IED in Baghdad, Iraq on April 6, 2007. This year's recipient is Cole Wyman. Cole? So Cole entered the Junior RC program as freshman year, and right from the beginning I knew that he was always driven to do his best in whatever he chose to do. He was completely genuine and honest and considerate to others in everything he did. Um, he continually sought the mantle of leadership while remaining true to himself. His diligent efforts and constant commitment led to his appointment as the unit's battalion commander. He will continue his service as he prepares to enter the United States Military Academy at West Point this coming July. We wish him all the best. All right, the Corporal Donald Fisher Service Award is presented to a senior cadet who participates in most, of, most or all of the junior ROTC service activities, as well as giving back to the community by helping out individually in service activities around the city. It is named for Corporal Donald Fisher, United States Army, and a graduate of the Brockton High School, class of 2002. Donald came to Brockton in his sophomore year from the state of Washington. Those that remember him say that he was always a fun-loving student, JRC was a big part of his life, and while in the program, he was an active member of the drill team and raider teams. Following graduation, Donald enlisted in the United States Army. He lost his life during the second tour while his convoy vehicle was involved in a collision in Kirk, Iraq on November 11, 2005. This year's recipient is Anthony Prosper. Anthony loved the Junior RC program and took advantage of all that it had to offer. Over the past four years, he rose through the ranks and achieved the rank of Cadet Captain. 
As such, he had a direct role in the program's success and more importantly, on the development of our younger cadets. Like Corporal Fisher, Anthony strongly believed in giving back to the, his community. As one of the key color guard members, he willingly gave, willingly gave up his time to participate in numerous community events. He felt proud to be part of the positive change in helping others see the big picture. He embraced the spirit of selfless service to the point that he will continue his service after graduation as a member of the Massachusetts Army National Guard. Like Cole, we wish him all the best in your future endeavors. I'll now be followed by Mr. Macrina. Good morning, all. Um, we have two very talented uh, students that represent one for the choral department and one from the band of uh, the uh, instrumental department. First, let me call uh, Macaulay Bercy up. <clears throat> Mr. Cunningham is the choral director who recommended this award for this fine young man, and he says, Macaulay Bercy is a bright, mature, humble, and compassionate young man whose contribution to the BHS choral program have been outstanding. He is a four-year member of the concert choir, brock cappella, chamber singers, and harmonics. Additionally, he has been accepted into the Southeastern Massachusetts Senior District Chorus and Massachusetts All-State Chorus throughout all four years in his high school. This year, he has the privilege of being accepted into the 208, 2018 uh, the American Choral Directors Association Eastern Division Honor Qu Choir in Pittsburgh, and that's very big. His accomplishments continue, yet the greatest pleasure he's, he is never in any award, but in his joy and performance has brought to others. Mercalli is a well-respected by his staff and students alike. As a bass section leader, he demonstrates his skills as an articulate communicator and competent role model for the underclassmen. Macaulay's dedication and dependability, along with his innate and instinctive musicianships, have enriched every choir in which he has sung. His passion for singing and unyielding work ethics will take him very far, and we wish him much success. Congratulations to Macaulay Burse. I'd like to call the Isaiah Lemcombe at tier for the Band Award. <laughs> Isaiah, how you doing? Good. Good. You scrub up pretty good. You look good. Very nice. Thank you. And that's Isaiah. Anyway, um, sometimes it's very difficult. You have so many great students, I have a couple in here, to, to pick an award uh, uh, in, in, in my organization, but, and I've been hunting about this and so on, but I saw an action by this gentleman about three or four, three or four days ago, which, okay, now I've made myself in a decision, and really describes Lincoln. He's a wonderful and compassionate young man who contributes to the band program has been outstanding in every way. He has performed in a marching band, jazz ensemble, halftime show, wind ensemble, and whatever else you needed him to do. He was there all the time. He is known as the big choir guy, which I gave him that title back in the ninth grade. And he was big, as big as that in ninth grade. Thank God he stopped going. But let, you, what you see is what you get him right here. There's no more than that. But inside that head of his, is, he really is a highly young man who's respected by all band members as a leader, a hard worker, and a person with a deep commitment to our program. When work is needed to be done, whether it's setting up for the concerts, cleaning this band room, covering a part, Isaiah is always there without even making a noise or sound. He just, I'll do it, and that's all. So a few years ago, Isaiah, I said to him, I said, he has this broken down trumpet. 
And I said to Isaiah, hey, I think, uh, I said, you, you need to go to the big boy's bicycles. He's still driving a tricycle, I said, so we need to go out there. So he gave me that laugh and that smile. And he said to me, I said, ah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I could do that. Said, I'm not sure if I can afford it and so on. So I says, I tell you what, I said, I have, I have a couple of extra trumpets at home. I'll let you borrow one. So he said, one of my, I gave him one of uh, my horns out there. So. I gave him up there and to, to, to finish up here. So with him, with that in mind, and along with this award, says, uh, to, just to show my appreciation and who, who this young man is, I would like to take this opportunity to donate that trumpet to you for the rest of your life and uh, continue to University of Mass uh, this coming September. Isaiah. Thank you. And I told President Sarah Richards to give the Arts Award presentation. Good morning. I'm Sarah Richards. I'm the Director of Art. Um, and it is my pleasure to present the Pasquale Morano Art Award to Alyssa Texera. Alyssa's not here today, but I'll say a few words about her. Um, Alyssa has been an asset and a joy to have in the visual arts program for the past four years. She has excelled in each course she has taken and gained a mastery of both conceptual and technical skill. Alyssa's quiet demeanor is reflective in her beautiful pencil drawings. In her senior year, Alyssa created a series of 12 pieces that illustrated the aesthetic beauty, beautiful connection between human nature and mother nature. This collection of work reflects deep thought, sincere reflection, and care. Um, all of these attributes respect, um, reflect who Alyssa is as a young artist and a woman. She exemplifies what we admire in our young artists. She is passionate about our concept, consistently assessing the design of her pieces, and continuously engaged in the execution. Alyssa's work has been exhibited in many, art, many school and local art shows. This year, Alyssa won a silver key in the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, and she placed second in the Art Smart competition. Her work has gone above and beyond what most artists her age have accomplished. This fall, Alyssa will attend the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth to pursue a degree in art education. We wish her the best of luck, and I'm proud to present the Pasquale Morano Art Award to Alyssa Texera. <laughs> Next, I'd like to present the Carol Thomas Theater Choice Award to Cole Analero. Uh, Cole is the definition of the drama club here at Brockton High School. His commitments and choices in acting, directing, set design, and technical theater make him a standout as a true leader in all aspects of our theater program. This leadership experience shows his adaptability, his decision-making skills, his ability to organize, command, and create. This year, Cole was a part of the 2017 Massachusetts Educational Theater Guild Monologue Scholarship Contest. Uh, he directed a one-act play. He starred in several of our productions. You can see some of his pictures on the walls. Uh, he won two set design awards for festival plays, and he received an all-star, um, an all-state acting award at each level of the Massachusetts Educational Theater Festival this year. So all three levels, he won acting awards. Um, only a handful of students from around the state are honored with this to win at every level. Um, so we're very, very proud of Cole and all the work he's done with our drama club this year and all four years. Uh, Boston College is very fortunate to have this young man attend his, their school and we wish him the best of luck. With pride, the Carol Thomas Theater Choice Award goes to Cal Cole Analaro. And now I'd like to in Mr. introduce Mr. DuPont, the Director of Business and Tech Ed. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. I'd like to call up our four uh, students uh, today. Uh, they represent our four uh, departments, uh, the first one being our technology department, our business, 
uh, department, our career education department, and also our Perkins programs department. So the first one would be Jordan Galvarez. I also have uh, Juan Obias. Juan here, Juan's not here. Thomas O'Brien. And Kenneth George. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll start off with uh, Jordan. Uh, Jordan is a uh, wonderful, uh, uh, Jordan is actually uh, uh, representing our information uh, technology department. Jordan is a wonderful uh, young adult. This amazing student uh, is leaving uh, Brockton High School with both a Cisco IT Essentials uh, certification and an, and an A-plus uh, certification. He has served as an IT intern for the Brockton Public Schools and as an administrative intern for the school's automated science system. As you can see up there, congratulations, good job. Um, his instructor, Mr. Cotaldo, on behalf of the BTCE uh, our program, wishes Jordan the best as he um, starts his journey in majoring in, in computer science at the University of Maryland, go Tarps. Congratulations. Um, Juan Obias is not here, although um, he is representing uh, the Graphics uh, Communications Award. Um, uh, throughout his high school career, uh, Juan has been an outstanding student in the vocational program at Brockton High School. He has earned uh, the distinction of being a team leader and production manager in the graphics and printing program. Juan is able to handle multiple projects organized um, and organize uh, the team to achieve quality uh, products. Other team leaders who rely on him for his advice and feedback. Juan is energetic, task-oriented, and leads by example. Juan will be attending the University of New England in the fall. He also received the Presidential Certificate of Merit, of Merit uh, given by the Masters of Vocational Association for Outstanding Performance in Graphic Arts. Our next representative is Thomas O'Brien. Uh, Thomas uh, came into uh, the high school here and pretty much started his 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 career exploration. So Thomas is truly t uh, taking advantage of uh, various offerings uh, provided uh, by our uh, BTCE uh, department uh, that makes available at um, uh, two Brockton High School students for career ex exploration. His choices uh, was was made ev evident by his junior year, where where he chose business. It was obvious to his business teachers that Thomas was going to pursue a degree in that area. His enthusiasm, uh, motivation, outstanding performance and made it evident and gained special recognitions amongst the faculty. The business department on behalf of the BTCE program wishes Thomas the best of luck at, as he attends Curry College where he, he uh, will be majoring in business. Congratulations, Thomas. And then our last uh, the representative is Kenneth George. Uh, uh, Kenneth um, um, exemplifies all the characteristics necessary uh, to be an excellent nurse. He is kind, caring, empathetic, uh, uh, and empathetic to his patients. He has been a president of the Medical Careers Nursing Club for the past two years. He has also um, been an outstanding nursing intern and teacher assistant. His instructors uh, Ms. Kelly and Ms. Leahy are extremely proud of his growth and accomplishments and wish him the best of luck in, in his nursing career. So I'd like this time to congratulate all of these young individuals on their uh, career. Congratulations. I'd like to now introduce um, Mrs. Mary Reed to, to present the Project Grads Award. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mary Reed and I'm the facilitator of the Project Grads program at Brockton High School. I am here to present a leadership award from my department to Larissa L Ribeiro, but I don't think she's here today. And if she's not here, I'm sure it's because she has already started full-time work. That is Larissa. She meets her obligations. 
Um, Larissa has been a role model to younger girls in our program all year long. She has been super helpful to me, not only as an interpreter, but also she has been very honest and helpful to all of the staff in the Project Grads program. She is a leader among the other girls in the program. They look up to her and they respect her. She was chosen for the award by the entire staff of the Project Grads program. Staff members made comments like, Larissa is a hard worker juggling many obligations. Larissa always says thank you and Larissa is very respectful. This award is to thank Larissa and I will make sure that she gets this much deserved certificate. Thank you. <laughs> And next up is Julie Sullivan. <laughs> Good morning. It is with great honor that I present this year's Peer Mediation Awards to three incredible, passionate young women. Hadassah Sosu, come on up. <laughs> Michaela Ferrelio, come on up. And last, Shama Iris, come on up. Hadassah, a future clinical laboratory scientist who has an immense ability to use her listening skills and thoughtful responses to gain her peers' respect. Hadassah was our unofficial office manager. The way she could maneuver PowerPoint and Excel was beyond impressive. And sometimes, anytime something needed to be done, Hadassah, without hesitation, would yell out, I'll do it. She has such a strong, quiet confidence about her. She is so humble with her many skills and talents, except for dancing. Hadassah is an amazing dancer, and I'm pretty sure she knows it. <laughs> Michaela Ferlio, an inspiring, inspiring to come a special education teacher. I truly hope she ends up here in Brockton. Michaela's one of those people that makes you ask yourself, Wait, you can't really be that happy and positive, right? <laughs> and then when you get to know her, you realize she's extremely positive, but has the work ethic to match. Michaela has, Michaela has mediated countless mediations over her three years. I remember her as a rookie mediator, hesitant to mediate. Now she was a veteran mediator who always replied with, oh yeah, I got this, Miss Sullivan. Shama, I love these kids. Shama, <laughs> inspiring to be a doctor. Shama was everywhere at Brockton High School. But it, she wasn't one of those students who joined a bunch of clubs to make friends or to make her college transcript look good. Shama was one of those students who joined a club, gave it her all, and then next year was, was voted to be cl uh, club president. She pretty much ran the school. Shama is going to be an amazing doctor. She truly cares about people's health, both physical and mental. The way she could uplift students who looked absolutely defeated was inspiring. If these women tackled their future careers with half the enthusiasm and passion that they brought to the peer mediation office, there is no question how many lives they will impact. Thank you so much. Next, I believe, is Dr. Murray closing out the event for the Student Achievement Award. Okay. So the last, but certainly not the least, award is one that's provided to us by the Massachusetts School Administration, so Administrators Association. And basically, this is an opportunity for schools to look at their student body and uh, without all the criteria of academics or whether you're in a specific club as president, but just somebody who, in general, contributed to the overall community and atmosphere of our school. And so this is one that would be difficult for me to identify as it my first year here, and I don't know all of the students that well. And so I went around and we kind of developed a consensus and this year's award winner is Tashana Johnson. And I know you're the award winner, now I just have to find the award. 
Lord. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Go ahead.